What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit differently as you guys clicked on the video. Today we're going to be taking a look at some of the best WWE play sets of all time. Some of these are WWF and I believe most of them are because back in the day guys growing up as a kid, I was born in 96, so growing up as a kid we got a lot of really awesome WWF play sets from Jax Pacific and they were incredible, guys. They had stages and backstage brawls and just all kinds of different stuff. We're going to take a look at it here today. So let's go ahead and dive straight into it. All right, guys. So starting out first, we have the Titan Tron Live 1999 WWF entrance stage right here, guys. It was Monday Night Raw edition. As you can see, um, it has the panels on the sides. It has scaffolding and stuff. And it did come with a Vince McMahon figure. It also had these certain superstars. And what it would do is if you slid, uh, you, there's a button on there that you could press, and it would randomly play superstars music. You know, it would randomize and then select somebody. It would blink, flashing, and uh, on somebody's picture that you can see there, and it would play their music. Also, um, it, the Titantron Live figures that Jax made came with these, um, and you would buy them separately or whatever, and you w they had this little metal plate on the bottom, and you, you guys can see the silver bar there at the entrance ramp. If you slid, you know, Stone Cold Steve Austin's uh, feet on there, it would uh, sync up with the stage, and it would play his entrance music. I thought that was really awesome growing up as a kid. This came out in 1999. I did get this when I was a younger kid, and I totally used it up until I stopped, obviously, playing with my figures, but this was an epic set. I always loved this thing. As you guys can see, this guy is trying it out with RVD, I think. Is that who that is? Um, I don't remember if it played his music. It didn't play everyone's music, I'm pretty sure, but uh, there were a ton of superstars you could put on there, and it was, it was incredible. I had a ton of a ton of fun doing this, and just listen, I'd be sitting in my room, and I would just take a figure, you know, swipe it across the little thing, and it would play their music just to listen to some music, so it was really cool. Um, obviously, a lot better than the entrance greats figure, you know, it's just the same superstar over and over. You could do it with all kinds of figures, so this was an epic stage, and I had a ton of fun playing with this playset. So the Titantron figures not only worked on the stage, guys, there was also this interview area, as you can see, the trash talking stage. Uh, this thing was amazing. I loved this. As you can see, it still has the silver bar there, and you would take certain superstars, let's say Stone Cold, The Rock, you would run the figures, just like you did with the interest stage, the little metal plates, you would run it over the thing, and they would cut a promo. I thought that was so unique, so incredible. I had this as well to go along with my stage, and I had a ton of fun doing this as well. It, it came with a ton of accessories. You see the speakers. It came with a chair. It also came with the little fence background and a light as well. It's really cool. I enjoyed the crap out of this thing as well. Pairing this with the entrance stage, those Titan, Titan Tron live figures were incredible to play with, especially, you know, with all the uniqueness to it putting different superstars on there, and it's sort of like the modern day trash talkers, that's their equivalent back in the day, but this was much better in my opinion. Next up guys, we have the WWF Hall of Pain backstage brawl play set. This thing was great, you can see the background there, it is just an image on there, it's sort of like the dioramas we used to get with the Elite line, but you also have that little garage door, there was a storage case on the left side for like storing oil cans and stuff, you have a little ramp, and there was also a connected piece that we'll take a look at right now, and as you can see it was an exit door. Very, very awesome. It came with a ton of accessories, I do believe. I could be wrong about that, but I do believe it did come with accessories. And again, this one was so awesome. I like this uh, much better than Mattel's, even though Mattel gave us a ton of different accessories and, you know, the curtain and everything. I don't know. I really like the hallway, and I love, you know, you get that entrance door. Similar to the one Mattel has given us in the past, but you get that other door. And um, it's not very dimen dimensional, you know. It's just like sort of one hallway there, but I had a ton of fun with this as a kid. You can have so many different things, especially when you pair it with other Jack's play sets. I, I enjoyed this one a lot. Next up, guys, we have a Jax Stage of Rage. It is the fist version of SmackDown Stage, and this was my favorite stage design of all time. I think everybody will agree. I want to see WWE Stage Creator recreate this someday, because this is amazing. I want to do this for Vindication. Hit me down in the comment section below if you guys want me to do this for Vindication. Create my own version of this, but it's so awesome, as you can see here. It also came with a ramp, a ramp I'm pretty sure, so I don't know why this doesn't have a ramp there, but you can see it has the chrome mirrored background. It's got the SmackDown entrance way. You got the fist on there, and you could easily replace those SmackDown uh, images with anything you wanted. If you wanted to convert it to Raw, you obviously could, you know, with custom stuff, or you could draw it. I remember having a ton of fun with this. Um, when I got my favorite entrance stage ever from WWE made into figure form, I was totally psyched. So I think I was around seven, six or seven when this came out, so I was totally marking out. What a great memory and seeing this thing. I, I need to grab this again one day. 
Next, we have another SmackDown stage that I actually had before the Fist one came out. This is from 2001, I do believe. You can see it has like the speakers with a little monitor and it had the rings going around it. You could actually, um, if you could, you could, you know, mix them together. You could put that little uh, entrance thing back there with SmackDown on it, as you can see here, out of the packaging. You could actually put that in between the Fisted stage. And I remember uh, mixing, matching those playsets together. And what, what epic times. You can also see on the ramp, it had some blue shading paint on there to uh, replicate like blue lights and I've actually seen I think my boy Matt has also done this um, he's actually used this for like classic figure photography on his page and it's it looks so dope so I would really like to pick up both of these Smackdown stages and you know create some custom ones and stuff um, really dope play set a ton of memories with this one as well they also had a I think Smackdown Arena type deal where you could have the scaffolding around your ring sort of like we do on Vindication and MDT Live where it had like a Smackdown uh, Jumbotron that would hang down in the middle of the ring. I remember having that as well. Couldn't really find an image of it but maybe uh, it'll be in a future video but this one was an epic stage as well. Next up, guys, we have an absolute gem. We have the official scale Elimination Chamber, the largest Jack-specific WWE ring ever. Um, this could fit a real scale ring in it. This thing's absolutely huge. I know a ton of my friends actually own this, but I do not personally own this. I've never owned this. It's one of my gems that I have never gotten my hands on. Cannot wait to pick this up one day. I totally will because we're going to be using this at a future MDT Live and Vindication pay-per-view and it's going to be epic. So as you can see it here out of the packaging, what a freaking amazing place. And I remember being so jealous of the people that had this. I never could hawk it down. But um, it, it's so it's so massive. It's a massive playset. You can do so many things with it. They it scales perfectly with uh, Mattel figures as well. Um, I've seen pick fetters use it. I've seen just so many awesome shots with this thing. And it's definitely probably the gold mine for me. I think it's the Holy Grail. Not you know ringside exclusive CM Punk. This this playset right here is definitely my Holy Grail, and I can't wait to grab. It. I'm gonna grab it one day, and it's gonna be on the pick fed very soon. I promise you that. But Elimination Chamber, definitely one of the greatest WWE playsets of all time. Speaking of more epic playsets, guys, we have the Cell Cage Match Ring. Very weird name for it there, but this is the Jax Hell in a Cell. Absolutely massive. What a beautiful piece. You had the entrance roof that people could come through, and um, I personally have never owned this one e e ever, and I would love to. Um, I think this... This released later, I think I was like 11 or 12 when this came out, and um, I, by that point I didn't play with figures or anything like that, so it's very disappointing that I never had the chance to play with this, but I will soon. We're going to get this, just like the Elimination Chamber, I will be grabbing this, but uh, what a great playset. As you can see, it has an op operating door, and uh, it does have the ceiling. I think Wadfigs did a in-depth review of it on his channel, so definitely go look at that. It's an epic playset. Um, you can do some epic shots with it as well, and uh, gr great looking playset. I mean, Jax just did it better, man. I, I challenge Mattel. Go out there. Give us some bigger playsets. Hell in a Cell, Elimination Chamber. Let let's make it happen. Next up, guys, we have a Ramp Rage playset, as you can see. It came with Undertaker with his motorcycle. It came with a slew of figures. Old Jax packs used to do this all the time, guys. Not only did it come with a stage, but it came with a slew of figures and accessories, as you can tell. And it, these things were so amazing. Uh, you're going to see a shot here with Triple H on the stage. This thing was great. The, the ramp was really long. And Jax always used to have just epic, epic sets. We're going to get into this later. I'll probably do another video on the most epic sets that they ever did. But this was a great stage as well. You could even do this with the Mattel figures today but um another awesome little play set that they used to do guys is this right here you can see it says mankind with grapple gear and it came with a ton of crazy accessories like a sock and a lamp post and a cd holder a tv and they used to have these all all the time they had like random ones and they would have you know like the boiler room edition and they had like um I can't even think of the different editions, but how cool is it to have these accessories? I know that, you know, what would you use these for? But you could really make some really awesome matches or setups within your pick feds. You could do really cool, detailed WWE action figure shots with these. I miss old stuff like this because um, you can see here, look, it's street, right, street Fight Rules. This is what I was talking about. I guess it was called Grapple Gear. Uh, as a kid, I don't remember what it was called, but as you can see, it came with a mattress and a sign. I had one that had a tire on it, and it even had like a dead squirrel attached to the tire, and it just really was amazing to see those uh, detailed sets like that. Here's another backstage playset. Don't really remember what this one was called, but it had a uh, exit back door. And on that wall behind Batista and Edge back there, you can see that uh, it is a breakaway wall and it enters into a bathroom. So on the other side of this ladder slash hallway, with a, um, it also had a vending machine behind Batista. On the other side was a bathroom that had like a locker room in it and a bench. And you could, I think you could break the toilet 
and the wall behind the toilet also had stalls and stuff. So really incredible place of hair. Can't remember what it was called. Um, really need to track this one down too. You could do so many cool stuff with it. Um, we have a Punjabi prison match playset right here. And this one was insane. I think the only way it fits is with a basic ring, but it's still a really cool playset. You know, it came with Great Kali and Batista. So not only did you get the playset, but you got the freaking figures to go with it. And you're going to see here... Um, this guy had it surrounding a basic ring, and yeah, I don't think it would fit around a real scale ring. Maybe the outer one might, like, might, but I don't think so. But, uh, that pretty much does it for all of the best WWE Jax playsets. I'll probably do a part two of this, um, depending on how you guys well receive it. Uh, let me know down in the comment section below if you guys would like to see the figure packs. They used to have some really epic packs with, like, six different figures in it. Um, which would be the equivalent to six elites in one pack to today's. But uh, they had some sick Toys R Us exclusives. They had all kinds of, they had KB Toys exclusives, guys. Growing up, you know, as a Jax kid, playing with the WWF Jax figures and play sets, they always had like epic stuff, guys. If you guys, you know, grew up in that time and you guys know what I'm talking about, comment down below what your favorite play set was or what your favorite figures were. Even, you know, what are your first figures? Let me know down in the comment section below if you didn't get any of this epic stuff. And um, if you did, I would love to hear about it. But that does it for today's video, guys. If you would like to see other stuff like this in the future, let me know down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.